Matt Nato. And I'm Veronica Lane. And we just had an amazing time. And I just loved that cheese torta. It was amazing. Oh, I bet it was. I bet the pork chops would have been awesome, but someone didn't let me buy them. Either way, we're going to let you experience the tour that we just had. Here we go. We specialize in Mediterranean Middle Eastern food. We're very health conscious on everything we make. Minimal salt, minimal oil. You can taste the world in here. The whole Middle East, Mediterranean, Greek, Italian, American, Persian, Indian, all with a twist. Tuna wrap right here with my cucumber vinegar. What, what is this right here? Your That's father's my tuna right there. Now he's going to give you a sample. Can of I try some of that? Definitely. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. Wow. Wow. No mayo I, you taste in there. It's all tuna. Are you going to give me the recipe? Whatever you like. Do you use a lot of local farmers? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so Pennsylvania and uh, New Jersey. From New Jersey? Yeah. Delaware, they come to summertime. It's a lot of gourmet food with some organic. And first of all, it's all uh, stuff is so fresh. Well, we have an assortment of about 300 different cheeses from around the world. We have the accompaniments to go with them, the olive oils, the mustards. We are very proud of the two things that we make ourselves and market to different stores. Tortas, gorgonzola and cheddar torta. Now this is one of our uh, recommended items. It's a triple creme brie. Mm. Better than butter. Ah, that is delicious. Andrea, yes. Borowski from Bex Catering. I am here and this place is ridiculous. I'm looking around, there's such an eclectic mix of food. Do you wanna, do you wanna explain, like how, how long have you been here? I've been in the farmer's market 18 years. Okay. The farmer's market is open 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. on Thursday, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 on Saturday. Okay. But we do offer extended hours for the holidays. We have to appeal to all of our customers. So we have vegetarians, meat lovers, people that eat light, salads, so we try and appeal to everybody. The customers that come in know the owners, it is a trust. We have anywhere from our fresh prepared meats, fishes, vegetarian, and what we can do is help pair it. We can pair your protein with your vegetable and your starch. We are international, so we do have Peruvian, we've got Mediterranean, we have Mexican. The favorite things when the people come into the place is a guacamole. That is one of my best sales in the market. A lot of salsas, um, like mango salsa, black bean and corn salsa. Since it's one of the favorites, I gotta get a little bite here. This is my nachos, it's a very good sell. The people like it. Mmm, oh. It's my chicken fajitas. That is great. I walk by Darcy's, I see you have wings. Yes, Tell I do. It. And in fact, because they're done in a rotisserie oven, they're baked as opposed to fries, so they're healthier wings. We add barbecue sauce, buffalo sauce. We also have um, ribs that we do in the rotisserie oven, yeah. as well as the rotisserie chickens. This is Dave's Poultry at the Flower Town Farmer's Market. We offer 24 to 36 hour fresh killed poultry. Completely natural, completely chemical free, and nothing in these cases is any older than say 36 hours. Here we're gonna be cooking something for some buddies. What are you cooking? Whole chicken breast. The whole chicken whole breast? Whole chicken breast that we would quarter for you. Okay. The smaller pieces, because they're easier and they cook more evenly. We sell the turkey lunum broils. One of those would feed family of safe force. Like a tailgate with this, this yes. would be a perfect thing to go tailgate with. Yes, absolutely. What are some of the things you got in here? It's a very seasonal menu. Bruschetta right now with the fine tomatoes that are out now. Uh, a lot of the salads, cucumber salad. Do you guys make salads? salads here? I make everything from scratch right awesome. here. I'm so hungry and I tried the Mediterranean <laughs> tuna down there. Very good. And do you mind if I try please, this? Please I don't know do. if this is your lunch, but I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take a bite of this here. Very good. It looks fantastic. Good. That's incredible. Thank you. That's incredible. Thank you. Not, a, not a lot of mayonnaise. Just perfect. Just enough. Stay tuned for more with the best of the best. 
we're back with Matt and Veronica at the Flower Town Farmer's Market. We have 15 di all different vendors, uh, all bringing their own flavors to the table, uh, their own experiences, uh, their own family recipes that it's very hard to find in any other venue. I noticed there's a lot of international flair here. That's something that we take a lot of pride in. I mean, you can go to an Italian restaurant or you can go to your favorite sushi bar, but you can't get it all in one place. Uh -huh. It's great for somebody like me who, you know, I'm not always uh, Absolutely. sure what and I it's want. It's even just a nice place to come in and get ideas for your next party. Tell me, if I wanted to have a party, you guys, can you cater? Most of the vendors in here do cater. Some cater for as small as 12, or you can go up to two to 300. So do you have any uh, favorite dishes that uh, are at any of the vendors? Favorites in here? It's a hard choice every day what I'm going to have for lunch. Uh -huh. You know, because oh, I, I can try, you know, the sushi or uh, I can go over to meats and try, ooh, I'm going to cook this for dinner. Yeah. That's another thing that's nice in here is the fresh fish, the fresh meats all cut to order. We have awesome pastas here that you can take home with the sauces. We have an excellent cheese selection here. You're going to find from all over the world. Peruvian, we have in the corner, you're not going to find that anywhere in the city. I don't really know much about Peruvian food. Uh, Peruvian food is a, is a mix. It's a fusion from a lot of influence. Peru is, um, it has Chinese influence, it has African, Spanish. My background is Palestinian, so I use all the influence to, in my food. Wow. If you can see, I, we use a lot of veggies with fruits and uh, nuts. In here you can find veggies and, and, uh, and fruit together. So people who doesn't want to eat too much fruit, they can eat over there. And it's very healthy. Mmm. Ah, oh, this is incredible. Mm -hmm. Ah, maybe it's the Italian in me, but I love pasta in here, pasta sensation. It looks like you got a lot here. I do. Can you tell me a little bit, a bit about your pastas? Yeah, fresh raviolis, all different types, lobster, porcini, mushroom, black bean, roasted red pepper, goat cheese, cheese, tortellini, this is ziti, arugula with feta cheese, balsamic okay. vinegar. Wow, that's Italian right there. just told me he came from over here and he loved it. So I had to come and check it out. What are you doing over here? It looks well, so good. Well, what we do is we specialize in all homemade prepared foods. Anywhere from our chicken pot pies to our fresh salmon, all of our salads. We specialize in off-site catering. Yet, you can also call in advance and we can prepare party trays for you to come for pickup. We make an ultimate seafood salad. That's fantastic. Let me try one of those. There you go. Mmm. Wow, that is incredible. I don't think I've ever seen a, a shrimp that big in my life. That is amazing. A pound comes about seven to eight peas. Wow. It's really huge. Half of my fish is sushi grade, which is you could eat raw. Of course, you know, if you, if you want to eat sushi, then you want to have really fresh fish. So I do have such as tuna, salmon, and scallops. And those are my uh, sushi grade tuna. I could go for a nice cut of meat right now. The three best things in this house today would be our prime pork chops. The one I'll show you that's nice marbling inside the meat. Wow. Burgers. These guys are the best. You saw these on the I grill. Do. Absolutely. You saw those oh, on the burger. grill. You pull them off. You put them on that thing, they'll come off that thing. I got two nice steaks for you. Prime New York strips right here in the middle. Prime fillets right up front. I can always go for a fillet. So I've got quite the sweet tooth, and all this stuff here looks amazing. All our homemade pies and fruit tarts are really popular. And we also have a full line of Ashes chocolates, which are great sweets. And we have hand-dipped strawberries, chocolate-dipped uh, strawberries, chocolate-covered marshmallows. Wow. And a whole bunch of confectionery items. You can come here and get a little taste and of all the bakery. you can select items from Metropolitan, La Bus, Baker Street, Kaplan's. And you don't have to run all over town. One location, you can buy items from all about 12 different bakeries. Ah, so now this 
This is my favorite corner right here, I have to say. I'm quite the sushi fan. Yay! <laughs> sure, uh, we're gonna make a tuna with avocado and peanuts. And then it's called a uh, sundae. Okay. Yeah, so... Um, that sounds right up my alley. It? Oh, wow. That is a masterpiece. I don't even want to eat it. It looks so beautiful. Mmm. Oh, so fresh. Yeah. Hey, remember when you said you couldn't remember what my favorite was? Well, so I thought I'd eat it without you. I guess I'll... oh, come on now. Why do you think I came here by myself? Goodness. Look Naturally. at all this. It couldn't have been easy, <laughs> could it? Could you tell us a little bit about what you got going on? Do you have like a favorite maybe you could suggest? Yeah, my favorite is the Hawaiian counter. Could we get a cup of this? Oh, it smells wonderful. See, I'm not a smelling guy, I'm a tasting guy, and this is fantastic. Mm, oh, this is fantastic. So good. If you had one sentence to tell people a little bit about, you know, this farmer's market, what would you what would you say? You're gonna find the widest variety of international cuisine uh, all in one place, run by small businesses, family run and family recipes. Yeah, I love that that, you know, everybody is a small run, family owned. Do um, you have all the owners are pretty much here throughout the day? Yes, they are. That's yes, awesome. they are. That's a big part of the market. The customers want to see who they're buying from. And if they're buying from a friend, they feel a lot more comfortable than if they're going to uh, a local chain that is probably much less personable.